Furnish is an application that uses augmented reality, but our vision or what we're trying to do is to disrupt the entire furniture industry. I'm Injina Gib, I'm the co-founder and uh, CFO of Furnush. I'm Reham Al Mosri, co-founder and CEO. The segment that we're focusing on, it's the couples about to get married. We kept hearing the same comments over and over again. Well, the worst part is furnishing the house. And we spend time in traffic more than we spend time inside a store. So we don't know what source to go to. All the comments kept repeating like some keywords, visualization, communication and furniture like we cannot we cannot imagine how it will look back at home why not put the augmented reality element to it so you can visualize everything and communicate your imagination and your dreams and your inspirations into real life without actually putting no money no time to it I wanted to like understand our segment on a deeper level, not just our assumptions. So we went to events, like specific events that are made for this segment, uh, and we started talking with them. Six months later, we went to the same event yeah. as Fernwish, with a booth and everything, had a prototype for people to try it because we wanted like live feedback. Okay, people, you said you want this. Is it Is really, this really what, what you want? want? This was our proudest moment, I would have to say. And some of the couples actually went back and came right back to the booth. It was like, you guys need to start right now. Like, I'm not going to wait two months until you launch. Like, you need to launch now. They started as a very different startup with a very different vision, but we had the same segment. So just listening to all our, our customer segments and listening to their pain points, we decided to understand that, okay, so maybe our business isn't exactly what they're looking for. Let's pivot, let's change everything. Let's look at a broader picture. Don't hold too tight to the idea you think is the best idea in the world. No, maybe it's not. Maybe there's something that is way better and way more beneficial. You have to fall in love with the problem, never fall in love with the idea, because ideas change, but the problem will never change. This is the third time that we work together in three different companies. Um, so we know each other inside out. I had an opportunity to go for a part-time job with Les Bay in a very, very far away place from my home. I used to just crash at her place. And so basically we lived together for like a year. Fast forward two years later, uh, thank God we did that because when you live with someone, it's make it or break it kind of thing and I'm so happy that we made it. <laughs> for me, partnerships is kind of like marriage. It's basically not like marriage. And it's very, very crucial who you, who you pick as a partner and I couldn't be more happier with what I have. Ha ha ha!